For years as a kid, um, I always shot what they call instinctive. So I never had a reference point on my frame. Uh, I'd always just aim and flick, you know, and it's, I was pretty good at it, pretty good at it. But since coming back to it, you know, like I say, everything's changed so much, it's progressed massively. Um, so now, you know, you have things like anchor points, um, reference points on the frame. So just through progress over, over time, progression over time, I've learned where my shots go when I do the exact same thing. And that is why I've had this optic put on the frame because my shot travels exactly down where that optic goes. So if I'm seeing the optic slightly turned up, I know my shot's gonna go high, which I don't want. If I see it slightly down the side of it, I know it's gonna go to the left, which I don't want. But if I turn it exactly the same, and I just see that dot, the ball generally flies, as long as my release is clean and, my, and I hold my frame tight, the ball will generally fly directly where that optic goes. Oh. So you put a nine and a half mil onto a nine and a half mil. You know, it's sort of well, back there we're probably 15 yards away. So, let's say that kind of shot, that kind of actually with the catapult really, just phenomenal, isn't it? So when I line up, a, line up a shot, I'm looking to come back to my anchor point, which is just the same place I put my gun stock under my cheek. And I want to, all I want to see is that tiny little dot. Let's say if I see it like that, my shot's gonna go high, if I see it like that, it's gonna go low to the side. So I want to see that dot every single time the same. As long as I keep my hand still on release and have a clean release, that's where that ball will fly. See, this is my anchor point. And that doesn't change as far as under your it cheek? Doesn't change. That goes, that goes there every time. If I was to pull it back further, it'd make the ball go higher because it'd be under more power. So if I was to, also, if I was to move my anchor point, it will change where that ball goes. So that's my anchor point there. If I move it down here, the ball's going to fire higher. If I move it up here, the ball's going to go lower. So that's why it's critical to have your same anchor point every time. And also the strength of elastic, I imagine, would, would have influenced that as well. You're, yeah, hugely, you're pullback hugely. Pullback is exactly the same every time, yeah, is it? Yeah, it's a bit like shotgun cartridges. Um, you know, you have different strengths for different things. You know, you wouldn't go goose shooting with a, with a clay competition cartridge. Same as you wouldn't go hunting with a um, competition band. You know, it's all catered to what you're doing, really. And where you, how do you work out what band works for what? Are they sold as hunting bands? No, they're not sold as hunting bands, but I mean, you just, you just get to know, you know what I mean? You, I'm, I'm a great believer in sticking with one thing and learning it. You know, I've shot white gold car, uh, competition cartridges since I've started. I know that's cartridge inside out. And this one, I, I found an elastic I liked. Same with the cartridge, um, red precise, and I've stuck with this from the beginning. So I know the elastic, I know what it's capable of. I know what each cut's capable of. I know what weight shot, if I use a nine mil lead, if I use a nine and a half mil steel. I know the drop at range, you know, I, I, know, I know it inside out. I think just get one thing, stick with it and learn it.